Shalom. This is Apostle Nicomiah. I would like to thank all those who have prayed for Elizabeth and I. Your prayers have been answered by Yahweh, who cannot lie. This is a love truly heaven sent, and only grows stronger with more time spent. Our marriage was March 7th. This is true, and is ordained from heaven, and nobody knew. So, I announced to the world we made our vows to the God in heaven and a world-renowned rabbi. I share with you my love I have for Elizabeth, for there is only one soulmate for each one of us, and she is mine, Nicomaias. When your eyes meet, there will be no doubt, for you will see the anointing coming out. This is for those waiting for your soulmate. You must let Yahweh and Yeshua bring you together, for the time is already set. So I recite you this poem given to Elizabeth about me, her Nehemiah, to give to others, to give them hope that yours is on the way if you only will believe. My beloved Elizabeth has waited 13 years for me, so you also hang on to your faith and you shall see. I, Nehemiah, I, I love Elizabeth like no other, for she is truly the best and a gift from my father. All will know it is I am that has joined you both together, and no man or woman or demon from hell can stop what God has preordained. Though at times you both will fuss and fret, just know that I am planned the exact time and place in how you first met. I bring you a man who only knows my peace to join together with a woman who has never known this peace. And yet this man is full of my compassion and my love, has my patience, my anointing to show and teach her to stretch for heaven's best, praying more for her and her for him and not for less. I bring you a man who only knows my joy and my laughter. To join with a woman, he will have to teach and share my joy and how to laugh with her. I bring you a man who knows no fear. To join with a woman who for oxygen has breathed fear for all of her years. I bring you a woman who has only known every kind of terror, use, and abuse. To join with a man who has my anointing to protect and wipe the pain and tears from her eyes from those that accuse and all those that abuse, exposing the truth and denying the enemy's lies. I bring you a woman who only knows insecurity to join with the man who only knows my security. I bring a woman who has known no earthly comfort to join with the man that knows my earthly as well as my spiritual comfort. I bring you a woman who doesn't know what it's like to be loved to join with the man that has my love combined with his love that will teach her and others the meaning of true love. I bring you a woman who has had no desire to live, to join with a man who lives each day to the fullest and asks for more years for me them to give. I bring you a woman who thinks of herself as no beauty, to join with a man that will appreciate not only her physical beauty, but her inward spiritual beauty. He will show her what the enemy has not allowed her to see, and this will only draw her closer to him and me. I bring this man a woman who only has known heartbreaking tears through all of her years, to join with the man who has my Holy Spirit anointing to erase them all away, along with all of her fears and memories of guilt, shame and loneliness, pain and blame. I bring you a woman who distrusts all men. She learned to war with them. She learned in her flesh to defend. To join with the man to prove he is worthy of being called mine. I give her this comforting sign. In my anointing power, he will defend her time after time. If need be, willing to sacrifice his life for the one I have ordained his wife. I bring you a woman who has never had the comfort of loving arms to join with a man who supports, encourages, and keeps her from all harm. To join with a man who has my anointed arms to hold, protect, and shield her like a fur. Then she will at last know what her God wants her to know, what it is like when the two of them are one mind, body, spirit, and soul in perfect harmony. Together they will flow in me. I bring you a woman who, although has been kissed, she knows not the loving passion she misses, to join with the man who even has my anointing love in his caresses and kisses. I bring you a woman who only knows the ugliness, defilement, abuse of sex, to join together with an anointed husband who knows the beauty of an anointed rest, where two minds, bodies, spirits, souls have been God-ordained and without one another will never be the same. This man and woman will see as they come together in a union with me, my love, and blessed peaceful trust and harmony. This husband and wife will truly become one in me, he erasing the pain, defilement from her abused memory. 
I bring you a woman who refuses by a man to be taught. Yet all along, this is what she yearned for and sought. To join with the man I have anointed him to her to teach. For fullness of a new anointed love she had not yet reached. I bring you a woman so delicate, sensitive, fragile, emotional as a butterfly, with broken, torn, shredded wings. To join with the man who has my Holy Ghost anointing, to speak healing, love, compassion, peace, and laughter. And in my anointing, mend her torn wings so she can fly high in the sky with the anointed song I will give him to sing. I bring you a woman who counts the minutes and hours as though they were years, always refusing to count the age of her years, for she feels she has not even lived. I now give to join with a man that knows not the concept of age or time, and only knows each age of his years has been all mine. I bring you a woman who at times lacks faith, to join with a man who only knows my faith. I bring you a man who walks in the fullness of the anointing, to join with a woman who is being taught the fullness of my anointing. I bring you a woman who has learned with her mouth how to war, to join with a man who uses his prayers to war, to break down the enemy's doors. I bring you a woman who knows no arrogance and pride, to join with a man that can use the humbling to stand by her side. I bring you a man that is a genius in man's eyes, to join with a woman that confounds even those who think themselves wise. I bring you a woman who will keep you more at my feet as you struggle to understand her more each day, only getting the answers under my anointing, when my son to me worships, sings praises, and prays. I bring you a woman who has only known defeat as enemies have knocked her again and again off her feet, to join with a man who only knows victory in Yeshua's name. What I have joined together will never be the same. I bring you a woman with a lifetime of bloody open wounds and scars to join with the anointing of my surgeon's hands I place in this man. I bring you a woman who has never been free, imprisoned behind invisible bars. Heavy laden burdens and bondage is what she has seen. To join with a man who will teach her what it is like to be free in me. I bring you a woman with the rare kind of Holy Ghost anointing. To join with a man to teach her how to use for my praise, honor, and glory. I bring you a woman who knows not the meaning of rest. To join with a man who only stays in my anointed presence where there is true rest. He shall teach her how to stay. Stay in peace and stay blessed. I bring you a woman who has known not good health to join with a man who only walks in my perfect health. He knows this is true wealth. He will help guard, protect your mind, spirit, soul, and body, praying in Yeshua's name and in walking in my spiritual authority. It is plain, a gift. I give both of thee to set you free from all manners of infirmities, sickness, poverty, and disease. I bring you a woman I have entrusted my rod, to join together with the man I have entrusted my staff. I bring you a woman who has the short fuse, to join with the man who holds the match. I bring you a woman who will touch this world for me, to join with the man whose anointing is the other half, and both shall see victory and not defeat. Without one another, you would not succeed in what I have preordained for you to do for my glory. Bringing fresh manna from heaven, I send you out to feed my sheep and my lambs, to water and feed them under my anointing. Milk, new wine, and meat they will feast and eat. I counsel you both now, listen to no other. For although well-meaning, they don't understand. When I created your souls, I created them for one another. No other pieces of the jigsaw puzzle shall fit, although you fuss, feud, and nitpick. For you don't want to change things yet. But my dear ones, the date has already been set. This is for my divine purpose. You won't fail. I bring together you two. The anointing will stick you together with my love and the Holy Spirit's anointed glue. Just to prove I am is a God that constantly confounds the wise. Remember with God, all things are possible. You will never this deny. Every day when you hold one another, you will experience a new measure of love for me. Together you shall see. I have preordained when your eyes shall first meet. You will know and behold the promise I have foretold. I have preordained when your heart and hands do meet, for that is when the two anointings join together as one and will start unlimited measure to flow. I promise you this, I shall have to give a new meaning of the word quick. For although you both scoff now, you will be as a match lighting the other oil lantern's wick.